Hey everyone and welcome back. So doing a pickups video because I've gotten a couple things in the last couple weeks because even when I did my last pickups video um, by the fine by the time I finally got it uploaded it was actually uh, like a week. I'd actually recorded it like almost a week prior to that. So even after that I got a couple things in. Uh, so definitely wanted to make sure I'm pretty up to date with a lot of this stuff. Um, and just in case you didn't see my last uh, video by any chance. I don't mean the pickups video, but literally my, my last video with, um, so I don't want to shock anybody. Yes, I did. In fact, finally cut my hair. It was long overdue. It was actually in the works for a while. Um, and I'm glad I was finally able to do it because my hair, as much as I really wanted to keep my hair kind of longer, like one of you even suggested that I was going for this snake Pliskin look and indeed kind of actually was, but unfortunately, um, I do need to be a little bit more clean cut. So unfortunately I did have to, uh, cut my hair a little bit shorter. Still kind of getting used to restyling it at this length, so just kind of bear with me. Anyway, two videos in a row about my hair. That's enough. Let's move on. So first up in the pickups video, before I get to the movies, I actually, um, even though I'm not buying as many like t-shirts and things like that, oh, actually I do have a t-shirt coming up, but I'll get to that in just a moment. I did get one more pair of the uh, lounge pants that Fright Rags sells. I already have several and I absolutely love them. Um, but I was like, okay, I have enough, you know, I have enough where I can like rotate them, you know, because I think I have like six of them now, maybe five, five or six. But when these popped up, you know, uh, if you know me, you know, I had to get them. And that is indeed the Dawn of the Dead, uh, lounge pants, which I know it's like, it, it looks chaotic, you know, uh, at least on camera, but obviously you can see that there's just all kinds of images from the film, uh, on the pants, you know, and stuff, you know, I think it just repeats on the back basically, but it gives you maybe a better look at just all the amazing, you know, sort of, what do you call it? Like almost like a collage image that they put on these things, which I absolutely love. And obviously because it was Dawn of the Dead, I could not say no. So um, in case you're semi new to the channel, um, a lot of my collecting, I've sort of been cutting way back and even some stuff I'm actually trying to, you know, planning to sell off, just trying to ease up on stuff. But if I ever uh, come across anything from Dawn of the Dead, which is one of my top three favorite films of all time, um, I will definitely jump at it. So yeah, so those are Fright Rags lounge pants. Now I can wash them and uh, probably wear them sometime next week. And now for the movies. So uh, let's see, which ones should I do first? Let's do, let's do the Kino ones first. So I got a couple of titles from Kino and I believe I've watched all these already, didn't I? Yep, so I can throw in some quick comments on these. So first up, um, I got the 4K, these are all 4K, just as a heads up, but it is the new 4K release um, of Serpico, which uh, is kind of funny. I don't even remember. Somehow a couple weeks ago, this came up somewhere and I don't even remember what, but it hit me. I was like, oh, you know, God, I haven't seen Serpico in so long. And I was like, didn't Kino just put out a 4K release and stuff? And so I went and actually got it off Amazon. I actually had some points and stuff. So I got it for like a really good price. Um, but just real quick, here's the front. Uh, which I believe that is basically the original one sheet, if I'm not mistaken. And there's the side with the title. And then finally, uh, there's the back with the details. And the inside is the same, basically. And I do want to say that as much as I thought I'd actually seen Serpico like a long time ago, um, I hadn't. Because as I was watching, like, even just a couple minutes in the film, I was just like, I haven't seen this before. Jeez, what the heck? Like now I'm just like, well, what was movie was I even thinking about? But just in case you've never seen Serpico, um, it is based on a true story about a cop um, who wanted to become a detective, specifically an undercover detective. He like he really wanted to embrace the idea of um, a detective like really going undercover, like not a detective that shows up in a suit and you know, questions everybody or anything, but literally goes undercover to like nab the bad guys. But um, he also discovers that a lot of the cops in his precinct are either taking payoffs from criminals or literally stealing money. So when they do like a drug bust or something, for example, they'll take some of the money and keep it for themselves. And it became this whole big scandal because because he like even goes to like another uh, precinct and it's going on there. And it was like this whole big thing. So anyway, really good movie if you've never seen it. Um, and yeah, I'm glad I finally saw it. So uh, and a nice 4K release too. So definitely a nice release from Kino. Next up in the Kino ones, we'll do this one first. And this is the, uh, these next three actually got directly from Kino. Uh, and the first one is the 4K release of Kindergarten Cop with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, directed by uh, the late great Ivan Reitman. And you see there's the front, which I, and again, I think I'm pretty sure that's the one sheet artwork, the side with the title. 
and of course the back with the details and again the inside is the same um and i'm actually really good i was actually gonna hold off on this and probably get it like it maybe at a sale down the road or something but i'm actually glad i got it um not gonna get too specific but had a really rough week last week so this actually came in i watched it the other night and i hadn't seen this in so so long and it was really fun revisiting it i mean i actually forgotten how funny this movie is and actually what a, a really a lot of really great moments that you probably wouldn't um expect you know there, it's like a kind of thing where it's a film that definitely goes far beyond just the premise here you know so definitely a great one to revisit um and just because you haven't seen it obviously Arnold schwarzenegger is a cop and he's trying to there's one bad guy that he's been trying to get for the longest time and he's trying to locate uh the guy's uh ex-wife and son and stuff and they're hiding out in this small town but he doesn't know who they are what they look like they just kind of know where they is so he figures he's going to be a um substitute teacher to the kindergarten class because the son is in the kindergarten class he doesn't know who it is and then the stuff just kind of goes from there so just in case you haven't seen it definitely definitely recommend it it's it's far more than what you think it is all right next up in the kino ones actually what i'm gonna do these um i was gonna save one for last but you know what um i'm just gonna do them in the order i watch them uh because i actually watched these back to back when they came in so first one which is one i'm super happy uh, finally did get released and it is indeed the 4k release of leviathan which some of you remember it originally got announced like you know a year ago or something and then it sort of got on you know there was a the rights issues or i forget what the issue was but it sort of didn't get canceled but it got like on hold for a long time and most of us actually did think it got canceled and then they finally did announce that it is indeed coming and for fact here it is and uh yeah and again this is the one sheet i know for a fact so there's the front of the slip cover right there with the one sheet artwork and there's the side with the title and then finally the back with the details and again the inside's the same um and this was a fun one to review i mean i've seen the leviathan a bunch of times but it's like the transfer looks really really good they this is a nice 4k upgrade you know so if you have the older um screen factory release and especially if you're obviously if you're a fan of the film i would definitely recommend grabbing the 4k upgrade and this is like one of those underwater films like they all came out like i think all in like 1989 it's like leviathan it was like deep star six and the abyss they all came out like within the same year and Leviathan is basically kind of, it has elements of the thing where they, they come across this like sunken ship um, and there's like this sort of secret weapon, um, like chemical weapon thing on board that once you drink it, it sort of then like changes your body and you become something. Anyway, I don't want to ruin it, but uh, it's like a really awesome creature, underwater creature feature flick. So yeah, and after I watched it, um, well, I watched the next film, which I'll get to in just a second uh, after it, but actually like, was it two nights after that? Yeah, I watched Deep Star 6, you know, the Blu-ray of Deep Star 6, which I hope gets a 4K upgrade at some point because that's, that's another one I love. So there's Leviathan, again, recommendation for me. Next up, and this is actually, and this is the one I actually ended up watching right after I watched uh, Leviathan, is the 4K release of The Boogans. I know there's a little controversy over this, which I'll cover in just a second, but just real quick, there's the front, which uh, again, with that original one sheet artwork, side with the title, and then finally the back with the details. And um, so just in case you've never seen the Boogans, it's about um, these guys, these guys who are working in a mine and uh, it's like their girlfriends come up and they're using like renting a cabin uh, for the weekend. Uh, but in the mine, they sort of blow open this one cavern, which uh, releases something which, you know, starts causing a lot of havoc. So I'll just kind of keep it at that. So um, and the Boogans is another one I haven't seen in a long time. Um, and it was really cool to revisit it. There was a couple moments too in the film where I was like, oh yeah, that was from this film. So as far as the controversy with this film, um, there's a little questioning on the color timing on the film, which uh, yeah, it's is noticeable um it wasn't horrible it's not like you know all of a sudden it's like you know there's too much green or red or something like that it's more like it's kind of hard to explain but it's almost like almost too muted in a way some people think it it's horrible i think um to me it wasn't that bad like i was still able to watch the film and, and be fine with it um now that doesn't mean it shouldn't be properly uh fixed or anything like that i mean every film should be properly um you know done so i'm not gonna pretend like there isn't a problem because there is but i'm just saying it's like it's i don't think it's as bad as some people um, are making it out to be but still just as a heads up you know so um it is 
technically a nice 4k release as far as like resolution and stuff like you could definitely tell that there's a big upgrade to the picture but um yeah i mean some of the other issues like i really wish they had taken care of because otherwise this would be a fantastic release and again a nice one for me to revisit all right let's see what should i do first or next rather not first i already did it first all right let's keep things moving on so actually i'm going to do the arrow one that i got in um, and that is the, uh, it's a UK release, but I definitely wanted to get it. And that's a 4K release of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the uh, Philip Kaufman one from 1978, which is actually my favorite version of uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And this is um, a deluxe set. So there's the front with, I think that's really awesome artwork. Um, and then there's the side with the title and there's the back with the details and of course you know this is uk because it's got the rating down the corner now this is something um arrow is starting to do more even though it's a deluxe box set um or set you know it's got almost like an outer slip cover which is interesting i don't have a problem with it but it's it's uh it's just cool you know it's a little extra thing so and then the inside is pretty much the same with the artwork on the box and the side but look at that artwork on the back that's really nice and then as I mentioned, this is one of their deluxe sets, so it does come with one of their amazing, amazing booklets that are like small books, and it does come with um, a mini poster. This one obviously has their new artwork, which again, I really, really like. And then the back does have the original one sheet artwork as well. And I did flip the inside cover on the case to do, so it does have the original one sheet. The other side has their new artwork, um, but I figured it's on the box, so I don't need, so I want the original one sheet on the inside. So again, there's a the front and there's the side, uh, side with the title. And of course there's the back with the details. And I'm sure there'll be a standard release down the line, which will pretty much be this. Um, so here's the 4K disc on the inside and a you know, nice thing, Arrow usually puts all their extras also on the 4K disc. So even though the Blu-ray, if there was a Blu-ray would be region be locked, I don't have to worry about that. And of course it comes with these little like mini, not lobby cards, like postcard, thing. well, I don't know. It's just little pictures. So let's go through them real quick. There's one right there, Leonard Nimoy. There's, whoop, let's <laughs> get it right. There we go. And there's, one right there, and there's that one. Ooh, it's not showing anything. Okay, because you can technically see something in the film, but luckily it's not in the picture. And then there's that one right there. That's, I love the lighting on that. And then there's that one of it coming out. I think that's it, right? Wasn't this the first one, I think? No, that was the first one. All right, so this is the last one right there. And I love, like I said, I love this film. So I definitely wanted to get the Arrow release. Um, I do have the Kino one. Um, and the Kino one actually is a really nice release because I think they both use the same scan um, kind of thing. I think the only thing is the Kino one um, in the first uh, maybe 10 minutes or something. Again, there's a slight color issue. I, just, like, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but it's there. You know, it's the kind of thing like, I don't want to dismiss something because it's there and that's not there on this one. So if you're a huge fan of this film, I mean, the Keto one honestly is fine. Like, I mean, if that's the only one I got, I, I'd still be okay with it. But if you're a huge fan of the film and you can uh, do the import, I would definitely recommend the Arrow version by far. Now this one, I'm actually gonna jump around just a little bit. So I'm gonna do part of my Severn order and then I'm gonna do one other thing and then I'm gonna come back to the Severn order. So first up from Severn, um, I did get, let's see, which one should I do first? Let's do this one because I haven't seen it. I haven't watched it yet. It's a 4K, I think it's, it's a 4K is a Blu-ray. No, Blu-ray release of Dracula Prisoner of Frankenstein. And there's the front with, I love that artwork, look at that. And then there's the side and there's the back. And then here's the inside cover right there and side with the title. And then of course the back with the details. I was hoping to have watched this one by the time I did this video so I could kind of mention it, but unfortunately I haven't yet. Um, and I don't even think I've seen this before, have I? I don't think so. So this actually, I. I think this is gonna be a first time watch for me. So next up, uh, another one from Severin, cause I, I got a bundle. So I got, uh, these are their February titles or January titles, I don't remember. Uh, January, January titles. Um, so the next one is the Blu-ray release of the movie Blood Moon, which uh, is also one I hadn't seen, but I have watched it. So just real quick, here's the front of the Blu-ray right there and the side with the title. And then finally the back right there with the details. 
And just, there's the disc inside. So, um, this is a film I actually didn't really know that much about. It's a slasher film that takes place at a college where a bunch of kids are getting bumped off and everything. But uh, the interesting thing about this film, it's, so it's an Australian film, and um, there's actually a good, you know, sizable uh, piece of the film kind of early on that really just has to do with, like, you know, kids at this one fraternity and uh, these girls at the sorority and, like, some local uh, kids in the town and, like, especially, you know, this one guy and one of the girls from the fraternities, you know, kind of, like, meeting up and falling in love and all that kind of stuff. And I actually forgot briefly, I was actually watching a horror film until, obviously, all the horror elements kind of uh, started up. So, but, yeah, it's actually really good. Now, the th interesting thing about this is that um, it has what's known as the Fright Break Challenge, which uh, you can watch with or without it, which is really just a moment in the film, it's about halfway through, more or less, where all of a sudden it just stops and sort of goes, you know, the Fright Break tra Challenge, you know, if you're too scared, you can go out to the lobby and demand a refund and all this kind of stuff. And it kind of seemed, like, it's funny in itself, but it actually seemed very out of place. Like, it's this kind of thing where it... Um, obviously, it, work, you know, it works great for like an old William, William Castle film, but this film, like late 80s or something, it didn't work, especially because the film itself actually has a very good sort of uh, like specific kind of energy to it. And I kind of felt like it, it broke that energy when it went there, um, and it kind of seemed kind of meaningless. So actually, if you've... I would recommend... I mean... I would recommend watching it without it because I don't think it, it you know, it's okay to go back and watch it if, just to kind of see what it's like. But if you've never seen it, I, I like, I wish I hadn't watched it. Not that it, it didn't ruin the movie, but I just mean it took me out of it, you know, obviously, and not necessarily in a good way. But, I was, uh, but overall, I recommend watching it without it. And it is, uh, yeah, recommendation for me on that one. And the transfer looks really nice. All right, so I have one more Severn title to get to, but I'm actually going to save it for last, which will make sense once I get to it. So first up, actually from Scream Factory, one I am so excited to get, and I did get the bundle, so I'll kind of go through everything, and that is indeed the 4K release of Sam Raimi's Dark Man, which is finally here, and I was so happy. I actually, actually ended up watching this um, Valentine's Day night, believe it or not, um, and it looks so good. I mean, there's a lot of process shots in the film, so you're going to always have that, uh, you know, slightly you know degradation of the image for some of that but so you have to know that um, but that goes with any film from probably like mid 90s you know going back anyway so it's like it's not a new thing but uh but overall it's such a great release this was so long overdue for a new transfer because even the the blu-ray release that we got from screen factory like early on um and even the universal blu-ray before that that was using a pre-existing hc master and if I'm not mistaken, there was an HD master that was actually originally created as um, a DVD master, which means they were using it for, a DVD, for the DVD release. So it had um, a lot of issues from back then. So like it had like artificial sharpening and, you know, stuff like that. This doesn't have it at all. I thought this looked fantastic. Um, and it's such a, such a great release. So this is obviously a 4K release. Um, there's the front with, you know, I, I love that poster so much. I actually have one and did have Sam Raimi sign it. And there's the side right there. And then finally the back, whoop, with all of the details. And the inside it doesn't flip or anything. It's the same thing. But I did get the big, big bundle. So it did indeed come with both copies, the standard release as well as the Steelbook release. And this just has a bunch of information when that comes off. So here's the Steelbook, which is actually the teaser poster image, which again is so cool. There's a front right there. There's a side with the title. Hope you can see that. And then there's the image on the back, and there's the inside, and it's the discs, and I think this whole image is when Darkman's like jumping off the roof, basically. I'm not gonna pull out the discs. I think you guys know that image, I hope. And because it was the big bundle, not only did it come with obviously both uh, ones, but also came with uh, two mini posters, one of the original one sheet, and then one of the uh, teaser one as well. So I'm not gonna pull those out, um, but basically they mimic these so just imagine these two as posters <laughs> basically um but because it did come with a bundle let's see let's see came with a pin um from as gutter guards right yeah so this came with this really awesome who is dark man 
pin right there, which I really, really love. And it came with these like, uh, which is they're starting to do now. And actually I really like them. These like almost like lobby card recreation things, which I think are nice. I think it's like five here. So I'm just gonna show them to you real quick. So there's one right there and there's, whoa. All right, let's try that again. Uh, so there's the second one right there with the explosion. And there's the next one, assuming I don't drop it. And then there's that one right there. And then finally, I believe this is the last one right there, isn't it? Yeah. So, and the thing is, like, these are, this is like really thick, like, this is like thick cardboard, too. This isn't like some cheap paper thing. So, I really like these. You know, I've done this for a couple of releases and stuff. And uh, I just think it's a nice extra. And again, as someone who, you know, I do have, um, you know, a decent amount of lobby cards as well so it's it's fun you know it's just a fun thing and again the 4k of dark man is such a great release i really recommend it um you know it's definitely worth the 4k upgrade and one that was long overdue and finally we get to, uh, going back to severin this is i decided to save this one for last and that is indeed the new 4k release of burial ground which uh some of you know i was like really you know excited to get this in 4k uh for those of you who don't know um when i was young probably way too young um i started getting into italian horror and stuff and there were a couple movies i saw kind of around the same time that really got me into italian horror there was um zombie lucio fulci's lucio fulci zombie uh gates of hell fulci again uh suspiria eventually i think Suspiria was technically the last one in this and burial ground was actually one of the other ones so yeah um so this film has a lot of meaning for me. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, the 4K release. There's the front of the outer slipcover right there. There's the side with the title. And there's the back of the slipcover. And let's pull this out. And I love that they're using this artwork on the inside. So there's, I believe that's the original one sheet, or at least the US one sheet anyway. So there's the front right there. There's the side right there with the title. And then finally the back with a bunch of the details. And of course, here is the, let's see which one's which, uh, the Blu-ray right here, and here's the 4K. And needless to say, when this one came in, I watched it right away, and it looks as good as it can possibly get. You know, Burial Ground is one of those films, like, it can kind of only look so good, but uh, at least to me, unless there's something I'm not seeing, to me, I thought this was actually a really great release. You know, it's the kind of thing where I think Burial, Burial Ground, looks about as good as it's ever going to look and it was so much fun revisiting it because actually i haven't watched it in a long time probably haven't watched it um in at least four years maybe okay maybe five Ugh. has it been that long i don't know four for sure so it's been a while so it was definitely fun revisiting it because it's such it's such an insane film. I mean, you know, there's obviously moments that we all know whether you've seen the film or not. But uh, yeah, so it's a, you know, zombie film. It's It definitely has the goods. You know, it's cheesy and even some of the effects look really, really bad. But in that fun way, you know what I mean? And obviously, yes, because I did get the bundle, it came with two extra things. So first up, even though I said I'm not really getting any shirts anymore, I did decide to go, you know, obviously because I got the bundle, it did come with this t-shirt right here. Well, let me get back just a little bit. A lot on there. Um, God, this looks pretty big. What size did I get? Large? Jesus, that almost looks like an extra large. That's all right. It's, it's probably not one I'll wear on public. So it'd be like a round the house kind of shirt. And then finally, and I haven't even taken this out yet because I wanted to do this on camera. Yes, it's the Peter Bark pillowcase. I have not taken it out yet. So are you guys ready? Because I am. So here we go. So I'm opening the bag, taking it out. Oh, that's a really nice material right there. See that? Kind of like it's not cotton. Um, all right, let's open it up. So in case you're wondering, the design here is, I think, pretty much at least closely matches the pillowcase in the film. And where is it? <laughs> Are you ready? Here it is. Here <laughs> Here's Peter Park on the pillowcase staring at all of us right there. <laughs> so, Jesus, look how big that is. Holy crap. Like, look at that compared to my head. I mean, jeez, you know. But wow. I mean, look. I never in a million years would have thought that we would have gotten a 
bit of bark pillowcase. But indeed, that is the times we live in. And honestly, I could not be happier. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know where I'm going to put it or anything. But holy cow, when I saw that as a possible, because originally we were just going to get the movie and that was it. And then, but when I saw that in the, in like the bundles and stuff, I was like, oh, that's funny. But you know, it's like, yeah, I don't know. What am I going to do with that? And then sure enough, it was like, mm, I really want, I really want that pillowcase. So yeah, so it's here. I got the, oh God, good Lord. What am I going to do with this? I don't know. Oh, uh, who knows? I have it. That's the only thing that counts, I guess. And so on that happy note, I guess, uh, that's it for this pickups video. Definitely want to kind of cover the stuff that comes in. Um, I should be getting my vinegar syndrome monthly stuff um, actually, today, actually, I think it might be coming today. Other than that, I think I got pre-orders that probably won't be coming for, like, several more weeks. But anyway, definitely wanted to get to this stuff, so, yeah, let me know your thoughts on any of this stuff, if you have any questions, or if you want to know more about the <laughs> Peter Clark pillowcase or anything. Uh, if you've gotten anything recently, definitely let me know, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.